In this video, I will show you how to fix if your Roblox is not launching on a PC. So let's jump straight into it. So there's a couple of things you're going to want to do to resolve this issue. And the first thing you're going to want to do is actually open up a new web browser. Next on Google Chrome, if you come up to the top right hand corner and click onto the three dots, and what you want to do is come down and click onto settings. From here, if you look at this menu over on the left hand side, you want to click onto the privacy and security option. From here, what you're going to want to do is look for the cookies and other site data option down here. Go ahead and give that a click and then just scroll down until you get to the option that says see all site data and permissions. So go ahead and give that a click. And then what you want to do in the top right hand corner, click onto the search box and go ahead and type Roblox. Next to Roblox, you should see a picture of like a bin. So you want to click onto this to delete all your cache files. So just go ahead and click clear. Now, what you want to do is actually clear the cache files from your system. So to do this, what you want to do is come back to your desktop. And what you want to do is come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner. Go ahead and type run and then open up the run app, which will be shown underneath best match. Next, what you want to do is type the following, which is the percent symbol and then temp and then another percent symbol. Once you've clicked onto that and you clicked OK, it's going to open a folder like this. Now from here, you want to look for Roblox. So as you can see for myself, I've not actually got a folder, but you should see a folder that says Roblox. So what you then want to do is right click and click on to delete to delete the Roblox folder from here. So once you've done that, what you now want to do is come back to your desktop, come back again to the search box and you want to type Roblox into the search box. Now underneath the best match, you want to right click onto Roblox player and click onto open file location. From here, again, you want to highlight the Roblox player, right click and click onto properties. So that's going to open up a window like this. Now, if you look at the top, you've got some different tabs. What you want to do is click onto compatibility. From here is a couple of settings you want to change. So you want to tick the first box, which says compatibility mode and run this program in compatibility mode for, and you want to make sure this is selected to Windows 8. Next in the settings section underneath, what you want to do is tick the box that says disable full screen optimizations and click to run this program as an administrator. Then go ahead and click apply down here and then click okay. So after you've done that, the next thing you're going to want to do is open up your security and privacy. So again, come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner and then go ahead and type control panel and open up the control panel app underneath best match. What you then want to do is click onto system and security and then you want to click onto Windows Defender Firewall. From here, if you look to the left hand side on its menu, you want to click onto allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. So this is going to take you to a screen like this. Now what you want to do is click onto the change settings button at the top. And then from here, what you want to do is scroll down and see if Roblox is shown in the list. So you can see it's not shown in my list. So what you're going to want to do is click at the bottom where it says allow another app. And then go ahead and click this browse button next to path and go ahead and find Roblox. Now it's generally on your C drive. So if you go into your program files in your C drive, so I'm just going to open that now, go into program files. So you can see it's there. So we're going to double click onto the folder, double click onto versions. And what you want to do is check both of these folders. One's probably going to be the Roblox Studio and one's going to be your player. So you want to double click onto the player once you found this and then double click to add this. And then go ahead and click the add button underneath. So what you now want to do is make sure that the box is next to it where it says private and public. You want to make sure both of these are ticked. So if they're not, you want to tick those boxes. And the final thing you're going to want to do is again, come back to your desktop, come to the search box down here. And what you want to do is basically type graphics into the search box. So now underneath best match, you want to click onto graphics settings. So that's going to take you across to a page that looks like this. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is click onto the gray browse button and go ahead and find the Roblox player. So again, you want to come into your C drive, go into your program files, and then just go into the Roblox folder and find your player. So you can see it's here. So I'm going to double click to open this. Now, what you're going to want to do is click onto options and you want to change this to high performance and then click the save button. So once you've done that, Roblox should now be optimized. So if you actually go ahead and restart your computer to apply these settings and then go ahead and try and open Roblox, that should resolve the issue. So if you've tried these steps and you're still getting a problem, then what you're going to want to do, the final step is to uninstall and reinstall Roblox. So you can do that simply by coming back to your desktop down to the search box again and type in remove programs and then click in onto the add or remove programs app which will be underneath best match from here in the search box just go ahead and type roblox and then where it says roblox pair what you want to do is click onto this and then click onto uninstall 
to uninstall Roblox from your system. To reinstall Roblox, what you want to do is open up a new browser. And what you want to do is come across to this website, which roblox.com forward slash download, and then press the green download now button to start downloading the launcher. Of course, once this is done, just go ahead and click that to start installing Roblox on your system. And this should go ahead and fully resolve any issues. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.